If you want to take part in the giveaway, make sure to join my Discord. All details are there. Hey everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to see how to use different kind of missiles against an unarmed MiG-29 at this point. Uh, we're going to start with uh, Fox-1, the Sparrow missile. That missile is a fairly old one, but it's good. It's a very good missile. So we're going to start with that. Now the way it works, the missile would rely on the radar of the jet. So first of all, you're going to start searching for a target. Once you're going to find the target, you're going to lock it. Once you're going to lock that target, you'll be able to shoot that missile, but you need to maintain the lock all throughout the duration of the flight of the missile in order to hit the target. So the missile basically talks to the jet while in flight. So radar is on. And the first missile that I'm going to shoot, I'm going to break the lock in order to uh, show you that it's not going to do anything. It's going to become stupid and just going to fly out there. Hopefully with the second missile, I'll be able to engage. We got the target locked. He's jamming, but uh, we're fairly close range, 23 miles, so we already have a burn through, uh, 22 miles now. Once we're going to come in range, you're going to see a circle on the HUD and those yellow lights uh, on the canopy bow going to light up. And then I'm going to shoot the missile. So closing in, 18 miles at this point. That missile is a, is a very good missile, actually. As long as you maintain the lock, it's a, it's a fairly reliable missile. Here we go. Fox 1 on the way. And it's going to loft like that. The further you are, the missile going to loft in order to achieve parameters. And I'm going to... Yeah, we can see him right there. Yeah, there he is. You can see him start defending now. Okay, I'm going to break the lock. Now, let's quickly work with the radar in order to pick him up again. He's defending, so his elevation changed. So I'm scanning, uh, I need to scan closer, I think. Yeah, we need to, there he is. Got him locked. Another Fox 1 on the way. And the missile is tracking, and the closer you are, the less of a loft the missile will do, because it, it doesn't need as much. You can see the missile here, coming around. Beautiful. It's gonna track him. It's gonna take a little bit of time, because the missile doesn't have that much energy. But I'm still gonna maintain that lock. I think it'll, it'll get him. Let's see, he's still defending. He has a missile notification, by the way. There he goes, splash. Nice. From Fox 1, you will get a missile notification immediately as the missile is being launched from this uh, from the other jet. Fox 2's heat-seeking missiles. Uh, they will give you a tone, a steady tone, and a tone when you get locked. This is the tone that you're going to get without a lock. The way it works, you can search with a radar and find a target like that, and the eye of the missile will slave to that target. But basically, the missile have its own guidance system with heat seeking, and it will track the target by that. So once it's off, it's off. It's going to search for the next, uh, for, the, uh, for the IR signature, and going to try to splash it. That is a challenge, because it can be the sun, it can be flares, and it can be uh, friendly jets. That's why, by the way, you call those missiles, Fox 1, Fox 2, Fox 3, you call them on comms so people will know what kind of danger they have uh, out there. So that's the tone. That's the tone when the missile sees something. It's not a lock tone. Fox 2 on the way. I'm intentionally not using the radar. Uh, the missile missed. So now we're in the merge with a MiG-29, and I can pull hard because he's gonna try to maintain speed. I don't need that because I have missiles. All I need is to pull him in, have enough uh, distance between us so the missile will track. That's why I'm pulling so hard, and I got altitude. That's not the right time. I'm gonna stay with him. It's not the time to launch a missile yet. 
Wait for him to climb back up. He's gonna be against clear sky if he's gonna pull straight up like that. Yep. The missile will have good track. Okay, this is the time. Let's start pulling him in. Got tone. Oh, hold on. Steady. More power. Tone. Fox 2. And that missile is tracking. Splash. Got him. That's it. Fox 2 is basically our tracking IR signature, usually from afterburners, this is the most common thing, but they also tracking the, sign the IR signature of the jet itself. Everything that was designated. Last but not least are the Fox 3s. Fox 3s are missiles that have radar inside them. I can lock a target and then I will shoot the missile and at some point the missile will turn pit bull which means the uh, radar will basically it's always active but it's gonna guide its, itself to the target and hit it. There is another option to use Fox 3s and it's Mad Dog to shoot a missile without a lock just line of sight shoot to the target and hope that the missile will do its thing and automatically pick up the target and splash it. So we already have him here in front of us and he is jamming but this is fine we're gonna achieve burn three it's gonna be a little bit close but that's okay and on this one he has missiles as well because i want to show you a little bit of tactics as well by using it. he's spiking us now he's locking me you can hear that constant uh, beeping there that means that i'm being locked there we go got burn through fox three for me Missile is on the way, and I'm gonna crank. And crank is basically uh, to help the missile guide. You, you wanna you wanna guide the missile for as long as possible, and then the missile will achieve a, it will go pit bull in the very last moment. Th that's how it will not get a missile notification. Although I'm not using track while scan now, I'm using STT lock just to have a better track because I have only one bandit, so it's fine, we know we're against each other. I'm gonna put him on the gimbal limits of the radar right there, and this is a crank, while reducing my altitude. And I am ready to defend, but I'm not getting his... Oh, there we go, he's already called, so he didn't shoot a missile, I think. not getting any missile notification so I think I'm safe or I defeated the missile I can't tell the f-15 can do that it's very fast jet got him in radar again and I'm good I'm just gonna push him I'm gonna maintain that lock I'm unable to lock him yet slowly recommits All I want to do is just to maintain a good radar picture, so I'll have him in radar all the time. Hopefully, oh, I just lost him. Hopefully I'll be able to lock him. Now it's all about radar work, there he is. Got him locked. He's still cold. The best scenario here is to catch him on the recommit. So once I'm see, I'll see him turning around, broke the lock again. Try to search for him. Once I'm gonna see him turning back around, and I'll be in range, I'm, I'm climbing as well, so gaining more parameters. There he is, he's coming back around. Looks like it. No, he's going cold again. He's probably still getting a missile notification from my uh, first missile that I shot. So I'm just gonna wait here, I have him locked, I'm just gonna uh, maintain the lock and, uh, and wait for him to come back around. And then I'm gonna shoot a missile at him. He's coming back around now. Here we go. And got a. There we go. Fox 3 for me. Oh, he's spiking me. Oh, he shot a missile. Alright, let's defend. That was somewhat of a close one. He just recommitted and shot a missile at me. So I'm just gonna break the lock and let the missile do its thing. It's got its own radar. 
uh, Eagle pilots call it an F-16 radar. That's the missile right there. Oh, we got a splash. Splash. I still have a missile out on me, so I'm just gonna continue going cold for a bit. Just make sure that I'm defeating that missile very fast in the Eagle. And the Eagle is definitely meant to do that kind of fight, BVR. So, it's a great jet. Yeah, looks clear. Anyway, guys, um, join to my Discord to take part in the giveaway. All the details are there. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you for Eagle Dynamics for helping me out with the giveaway. Oh, that's the missile explosion right there. Okay, so, it tried to track me, but it exploded in the air after it was defeated. All right. I hope you guys enjoy. Have a good one. I hope it helps. See you next time.